Hey guys, guess where I am today? Ahmedabad and just in time for the Kite Festival. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I am on YouTube. Thank you. Hey guys, I am Sonika. Today I have come for a three day trip to Ahmedabad for some street photography, street food, lots of fun and the kite festival. It's my first time in the city and I am super excited. But in this video, I am only going to show you what I do on the first day of my trip. Videos of day 2 and 3 will be up really soon guys. So let's start with day 1. It's 9.30 am in the morning. We are going to stop here for some quick breakfast and then head over to the steppers of Adalaj and Amba. Let's step well. It is intricately carved and is five stories deep. It is called Adalaj Ni Baag in Gujarati because Baag in Gujarati means step well. It is also called the Rudabai step well because it was constructed by Queen Rudabai in the memory of her husband Rana Veer Singh in 1498. There is an opening in the ceiling for sunlight and air to enter the well but direct sunlight does not enter the landing and flight of steps except for a few moments during noon. That is why it is said that temperature inside the well is around 6 degrees cooler than the outside. I have an interesting story about this place. The step well was being constructed by Rana Veer Singh in the 15th century to help the people overcome the water shortage problem in his kingdom. But while during its construction, his kingdom was attacked by Muhammad Begda and Rana Ji lost his life in the battle. After his death, his wife wanted to perform sati, but Begda stopped her and asked her to marry him instead. Queen Ruda violated the condition that she would marry Begda if he would finish the construction of the step well for her. So Begda completed the construction and after the step well was built, Begda asked the queen to marry him. But Ruda Bai was devoted to her husband and decided to end her life by jumping in the well. It is a very tragic story but I think it was very brave of Ruda Bai to stand up to the opponent in such a way. Adalaj am at the Ambapur step well. Like Adalaj, it was also built in the 15th century. It is also intricately carved and looks beautiful. But compared to Adalaj, it lies in a state of neglect and is not very well maintained. Let me show you around. Seeing all this neglect makes me so sad. But the step well is still beautiful.
Wow, these temples of Gujarat are truly beautiful. Now we're gonna grab some quick lunch and then head to the Thorn Lake for some bird photography. After that, we're gonna go to the kite market because the kite festival is what we are here for. Now I'm at the Thorn Lake. Thorn Lake is an artificial lake constructed in 1912 and it is home to many migratory birds like pelicans, lapwings and flamingos. So let's take a look. This is what I call Pelican Island. I love flamingos. A visit to the kite market is a must. I'm going to the Raipur kite market full of kites of every shape, design and color. So let's go! Look at all these kites. So many colors and shapes. So guys, day 1 in Ahmedabad has come to an end. I am clearly dead tired but I had a lot of fun. And if you guys like this video too, give me a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below about what was your favorite moment within my video. I think the favorite moment for me today was watching pelicans at the Thol Lake. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon. To be notified whenever I am on YouTube, here is my previous video. Please stay tuned for day 2 and 3's videos. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.